In this video, I'm going to show the top five UI libraries for React development. Before we begin, I wanted to tell you that this is my opinion and based on my experience and research. There might be other libraries, but these are the sufficient to develop a small scale to large scale websites. So please comment below if you have any other better libraries so that everyone will know about it. At number five, we have React Semantic UI, which is the official clone of Semantic UI. It has a the classic UI for everything like buttons, icons, image, input, everything. So you can go to their official documentation and you can find a wide variety of components inside it. And you can go through the documentation and find how to use the components. And in their documentation they have given you know, how to pass props, what are the props that needs to be passed to a particular component. Here is the sample button that is rendered from semantic UI. So if we have a component for our displaying flags of every country, icons with all the props that needs to be passed to that component. Let's see if you want a circular icon, this parameter needs to be true for that component. So the video link for all the Websites will be in the description. At number four, we have React MDL. This library is based on Google Material Design Lite. It provides a wide variety of material components from MDL. They also provide a basic starter templates. We can uh, start building our website based on these templates if we want. So these are the components that is available from React MDL. At number three, we have most popular UI library that is Bootstrap. React Bootstrap is a library of reusable front-end components. You give the look and feel of uh, Twitter bootstrap. To use it, you just need to install it using npm react bootstrap. Then for CSS, we just need to link to their uh, bootstrap CSS uh, from one of their CDNs. So that's it. We, then we just need to import the components in our file and just use the components wherever we want. At number two, we have material UI. This is another material design library that take advantage of Google material design. It has a wide variety of good looking UI components like date picker, time picker, etc. which will have a millennial look and neat and clean. So let's say I will show you a, we have a snack bar it displays like a, a Google snack bar. So we have everything, we have time picker with a good looking UI. So if you want to use material design in your websites, then I would suggest you to use this library. So this is pretty clean and neat. At number one, we have Ant Design. This is one of my first personal favorites. It has an enterprise class UI design language for web design. It supports most modern browsers and Internet Explorer 9 Plus with polyfills. They have recently released version 3.0, which has a minor UI of reworks and improvements. It, it has a wide variety of components that was not present in other libraries that we have discussed. For example, let's say we have a we have mentioned here 
if you want to use something like this at mention like in Twitter or Facebook we can use it and then we have tree select so you won't find this in other libraries that we have discussed before so this has other multiple components we have uh, notifications with wide variety of notifications like warning with the infos with the errors we have component for paginations and then we have messages pop and forms so there are a lot of components that we normally use in our websites so just give it a try for this library and you will love it thanks for watching guys